Hi guys, welcome to this challenge today where we're going to take on a lab to basically do inter-VLAN routing. So this is going to combine a number of our different skills and the main objective of, of the activity is to get basically these three PCs um, communicating using inter-VLAN communication and also to be, to be able to essentially ping this server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got obviously a number of different, um, I've got some help here. So I've got an addressing table, I've got some VLAN and port assignment table. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk through this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click on my routing table and um, my router and I'm going to essentially make this nice and big and we're going to pop this out on top. And I'm just also going to just keep this so that we can see our dressing as we go through. So first thing I'm going to do guys then is I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to check out what the current status is. So if I do a show IP interface brief, I can see that at the moment the Ether, gigabit Ethernet 00 has been configured. So essentially this is being configured. I don't see the mass from this view. So what I could do is just do a show run to have a look just to ensure that the mask is correct there. So I can see that looks good. I can see um, the, however, I can see obviously that none of these sub interfaces are configured. Now, what I also should have a read of is just to make sure that what sub interfaces tally up with what VLANs. So in this case, I can see I've got VLANs 10, 20 and 30. So in this case, these indicate faculty, students and guests. But I've also, guys, and we, we've got to take note of this, I've got a VLAN 88, which is going to be the native VLAN, so we'll take note of that, and a 99 VLAN, which is going to be management, and that's going to be an SVI, a switch virtual interface. So what I'm going to do then, guys, is I'm going to get straight to work on my router to configure all of these sub-interfaces and configure the IP addresses suitable under each. So let's, let's go. So I'm going to go into configuration mode. I'm going to go into interface gigabit 0 slash 0, and one thing that, 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 and you can see, guys, this is one, one aspect which I, I'm going to stop for a moment. At the moment, I was kind of thinking, what gigabit Ethernet should I be under? Well, in actual fact, I've gone wrong there straight away. It should be gigabit 0 slash 1. So something that you can actually do to help yourself is, if you go to preferences, and this is similar in Windows, what you could do is you could enable to basically show the port labels. So essentially, I'm going to basically click this button here. And what I can now see is I can see exactly where I'm working. So I know when I click on the X here, I know that when I'm clicking the router button now, in a moment, I'm going to be using this, I'm going to be co configuring this gigabit zero slash one. So again, it just helps me to avoid little small mistakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this nice and big again, and I'm going to ensure that I'm under that interface. I'm going to have my table here to help me as well, so that I get the correct IP addressing. So in this case, I'm going to be working under, so I can see gigabit 01 on router 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go dot, and I'm going to start off with 10. And I'm going to make sure that I can see my IP addresses, so it helps me. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to go, um, now before I put an IP address on it, I need to identify the tag, the VLAN tag. So in order to do that, I'm going to say encapsulation dot 1Q 10. Then once I've done that, I can put my IP address. So IP address. 172.17.10.1 and then it's going to be 255.255.255.0 and that's my first sub interface configured. I can then go exit and now I can move into my next sub interface so gigabit 0 slash 1.20 and in this case I'm going to basically use the similar uh, command so again I'll hit the up arrow here what I'm going to do instead of 10 that's going to become 20 also, I'm going to need an IP address. So again, the IP address, instead of it being on the 10 network, it's going to be on the 20 network or sub network. Once I do that, I'm going to go exit. I'm going to do a similar, um, I'm going to go again under interface, gigabit 0 slash 1 dot 30 this time. And again, similar situation, I'm going to say encapsulation, but this time I'm going to say 30. And I'm going to use my IP address. I'm just going to scroll using my up arrows. I'm going to go through here. And just make that 30 and I'm going to basically say exit to that <clears throat> now I've now got 10 20 and 30 done 
However, I want to be just very careful with this 88 because this, as I could see earlier on, this is my native VLAN. So remember what that means. That means that this is the VLAN that isn't going to have basically a, um, a, a, a tag identifier on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, gigabit, so again, interface, gigabit 0 slash 1 dot 88. And what I'm going to say is that I'm going to say um, now what I'm going to need to do is slightly different. It's going to be encapsulation dot 1Q. But this time, I'm just going to hit press my question mark for a moment. Um, let's have a look. I'm just going to say 88, and I just want to check to see where is this. Okay, there we are. So I can see, guys, that I'm now putting this. It's going to be very similar to our above interfaces for, for example, 30. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I indicate this is my native VLAN. Okay, so once I do that, that's perfect. I'm gonna put my IP address, so IP address, and this again, it's gonna be very similar to above. Let's just hit the up arrow again to just save us some time. So I'm gonna go, but this time it's gonna be 88.1, isn't that right? Let's just go back and just double check to make sure that in our table, that's correct. So 88.1, perfect, and a subnet mask of that. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm gonna go interface gigabit zero slash one dot, my last one, 99, and then I'm gonna go IP address, before I go IP address, dot one q, I'm gonna delete native, because again, I only have that one native. I'm gonna say 99, and I'm gonna put my IP address in there. So again, this is gonna be 99.1. Okay, so, dot 99.1. Okay, now at this stage, guys, what I can do is I'm gonna go exit, exit, and I'm gonna go show IP interface brief, and I'm going to just have a look at each one of these. Now, at this moment in time, look, guys, I can see all of them are at the moment are administratively, they're all shut down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under um, this gigabit zero slash one, and I'm going to actually um, bring them all up. So let's let's go conf t um, interface gigabit zero slash one, and I'm going to say no shut. And once I've done that, guys, I can see that this has brought them all up. To just double check that, I'll go back to privilege mode and go show IP interface brief. Okay, and that looks very good. Okay, I've brought up all of those interfaces. Okay, so that, that, looks, that looks so far so good, guys. And I can see very nicely, I can see my completion at this moment in time is up to 59% already. So what I'm going to do, guys, that's it for part one. Join me in part two, where I'm going to continue on. So at this moment in time, although we've configured a lot regarding the router, I need to obviously get to work on my VLAN and port assignments on my switch. So what we'll do is we'll pick up where we left off in just a moment. Okay, thanks for viewing, and I hope you join me for part two. Thanks, guys.